I'm just gonna choose this save file with the four party members. Hello there, Perkele. Perkele, excuse me, that's Finnish for... I, I probably shouldn't say. So, um, hello again. Uh, by the way, I should mention that by the time you're seeing this, uh, memberships should be enabled on the Stream Archive channel. So if you're interested in that, there is a join button now on the Stream Archive channel for general support. So, um, yeah. Uh, if you're interested, you can, you know, press the button and uh, get some cool perks like uh, thank you on stream and also have your name appear in my uh, big videos on the main channel. Now, I would like to get into this game because uh, I seen some interesting things. So first off, you, if you remember in the previous video or in the previous stream archive, we actually uh, found another machine by Moonless. And uh, just today, I watched a video by a channel called No Commentary on YouTube. So, and he posts a lot of content about Fear and Hunger specifically, uh, which I avoid watching, but there was one video I wanted to watch, which was uh, how to get all the characters. Uh, and in that video, I saw, I believe I saw a way to find, to uh, reach the third and last machine. So, we're gonna go there. I d by the way, that way is not relevant to us very much because the character that is on that path, I murdered. So we're not actually gonna find anybody on the, on the path, but uh, it's good to know. Uh, Emmanuel, thank you so much for the 150 Swedish crowns. That's what it stands for, thank you. Here are some support, Lameo. <laughs> Lameo, here's 150, thank you. Appreciate the crowns. Um, so how do we get... How do we get... Thanks. Um, by the way, we don't have to go to the deep woods in a dangerous place. I have a good idea how to get to the uh, deep woods without putting my whole party in danger. Uh, I don't want to go through the city because through the city there is the meat grinder guys. If you, if you seen the the stream archive of uh, meat grinder of despair, then you know how much I despise these guys. They just so, they're so silly. Um, and now I know a new way to the uh, deep woods because I actually uh, this is actually something I found out through the comments on YouTube on this uh, second channel. Um, that not all uh, ritual circles are the same and some are for new gods and some are for older gods and the way to distinct at least the way to know how to use an older god sigil is if the ritual circle sigil is like pointy like uh, is like a star thingy so we can totally just go and draw something on the sigil and it'll do something cool <gasps> oh wait it might not work though. It depends which uh, Bibles I have. I forgot which skin Bible does that. I have Gorgoroth, uh, Sylvan, and Fear and Hunger. Oh, I think that might be Vinushka though. I think we need Vinushka. The god of the forest. Wouldn't Vinushka be an, a new god because she's the daughter of... Uh... Wait, there is a well here. Oh lord, you gotta forgive me. I'm gonna jump down the first well I see. This was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Uh, I've ever done. Look at this. I found a lucky coin. You can't seem to get a good grip uh, from the wall. The stones are too round and slippery. You can feel the re realization in your guts. What if you can't get back up? Don't I have a rope or something? I mean, I probably should have used it before jumping down, but... Well, at least I didn't jump down the toilet, guys. Listen, this is not the worst way to die. Tanaka could help you here. Tanaka, what what was he gonna do? Climb the way out with his briefcase? 
Or probably if I waited long enough, uh, Tanaka would come out. But isn't Tanaka dead? Tanaka and Marco are dead, so... Maybe it wouldn't have worked. If there is an interaction there. So we're just gonna go back. Wow, there is uh, so many things uh, I want to do after seeing like the. Uh, the thing is, uh, YouTube shows me all the videos other people watched. So I, they they show me like a ton of videos from no commentary, channel, and there is so many cool things you can do with the party members and characters. So if we get the ending, we'll we'll be able to explore other characters and do interesting thing things. Like, uh, I want to really, uh, I really want to play as the journalist because she can talk her way through a lot. He would climb out of the roof, guys. So funny of me. Dragon, you don't need to see yourself out. See yourself banned. Hello, hello, Win. Hi, Risk. Love your fear and hunger videos. Please do not upload more. S Please do upload more stream archives. I will. I will totally do that. Anyway, we're now gonna go back, and I'm gonna draw Sylvan, and hopefully that's enough to do whatever I wanted to do. So. My line of thinking is that uh, I saw somebody draw a sigil and it made a tree appear, so maybe if I draw a sigil as well, the tree will appear. Though now that I'm thinking about it, uh, I think Vinushka would probably do it and not Sylvan. But what do I have to lose anyway? Anything but the meat grinder guys, really. <laughs> Fear and Hunger is an epic game. I hope he makes a third installment. Hey, I ho I hope to. Um, so as you see, this ritual circle has like pointy ends. I think I need Vinushka for this. But maybe if I draw... Do not heal me. Don't do that. God damn it, you healed me. What did I say? What did I Okay. Hey, at least my affinity with Sylvan increased. Oh man. All right. So it seems like we're going to have to go through the city. Uh if you draw v Vinushka on the ground, then a tree comes popping out and you can and you have a quick way back. I just don't have the... I Wait! Occult Grimatories, wouldn't that let me know of all the sigils? I have a book called Occult Grimatories. Magic in Theory and Practice. So that low... Important... Uh... Okay, so this doesn't actually give me, uh, teaches me, it, it, it teaches me about the kind of circles, but it doesn't, doesn't teach me, uh, sigils per se. Damn it, Vinushka would have been really helpful. Guess we gotta go through the city. So, here's my plan. I'm gonna go through the city, hopefully survive. And if we do manage to survive, we're gonna go back and activate the third machine and then i think we beat the game from there i'm not entirely sure how but we do assuming uh it's like the first uh fear and hunger game after using uh three sigils oh we need to go through the city we can't go through any anywhere else so uh yeah assuming like it's the is similar to the fear and hunger the first game 
then it would just work after destroying or activating in this case the third machine in the original game you had to destroy three pods oh this is so sad give me your money uh should probably eat a meat pie and then Oh, I, I just thought of it. I don't actually need to save the game. I can use a... No, no, Bobby. Oh, no. How did he reach me? What do we do? Do I fight him? My character is not on a wheelchair, so... Guard, guard. Can Karin talk? She cannot talk. Talking is useless then. Um... This is still a problem, because he's still hugging the staircase. Well, I think... Uh... Oh, we got lucky. Or not, he just caught up to me again instantly. It's okay though, I'm very lucky. Now let's hope Needles doesn't come. And if we go right, we get trapped by death mask. Did I loot over here? Five shillings, shotgun shed, and a head. Hello, Shachar. Oh, chest empty, yeah. Oh, I, I, I just love opening locked chests and find out somebody locked nothing in them. That just, um, it tickles my sense. All right. Oh, hello, dead uh, orphans. I'm just going to loot the trash. The rotten meat will come in handy when I die. So we need to go further left. The crows are feasting tonight. We need to go further left until we reach the outskirts of the city or not the outskirts uh, like would it be like what a back entrance of the city i think so what's over here this looks o ominous <laughs> blinker i, li I live uh, when you post uh, crows because I, I i can hear it it um Blue vial. Wow, this is a section I did not loot, so I, I'll probably die. Oh, this guy is attached. Uh, I'll I'll take some of the wire. Mushroom, three o three ammo. By the way, let's give the wheelchair lady a shotgun. Oh, I do not have a shotgun. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I do not have shotgun. Uh oh, watch out. We have parachute. We have paratroopers. They just uh, parachute down from the sky and bite you with all their three heads. Or, oh, yeah, over here there is a very specific area that tr triggers these guys. Um, well, if I go into a building, they don't actually go away. Run! I'm gonna have to jump off my wheelchair though for the stairs. Go, go, go! 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 I hate the meat, gr meat grinder, guys. So silly, I have to jump off my wheelchair. Can't they see I have a wheelchair? Okay. Over here, the meat grinder guys are not activated. I could have probably got here safely with uh, just the the sewers. Man, this city at night is really uh, an atmosphere, let me tell you. This ambience is, is uh, a little creepy. Oh, I hear shots! I hear gunshots! Who's shooting? 
Is it coming from here? No, that's the news agency. Someone was shooting. And everybody's standing around like it's fine. Okay. There is a blob mass on this side of the building. Oh, this guy's holding a rifle. I don't wanna... I could kill him. Actually. Seems like the safer route. Uh, get him! Alright, die, you silly head. Wow, a critical hit. His gun is busted. I got ammo though. You know, it might be worth killing them just for the ammo. I'm gonna give Karin a meat pie. Now, killing him grants me uh, a way just out, but to the left there should be like a... Inventory? Or not inventory, but like a storage. Is it looted? It's not looted. Might be a good idea to take everything. By the way, if I come across any old sigils, I will save the game. Riz, can I give you a good tip? Sure, go ahead. No fear, Risk. Challenge the gr meat grinder, dude. Not gonna happen. No, -uh. no. I do not want my character, my uh, characters, to lose limbs. If I wanted to, I would do that. I got a bear trap. That's gonna come in nice. I do have a big party, so having some more wine is uh, very much appreciated. Okay, we're pretty much good here. There should be an enemy around with a handgun, so might be worth killing him because I don't think the handgun the handgun would be broken. There he is. All right, let's get him. Without a warning, soldier take point blank. No! I'm so silly. How did I not avoid that? Um, probably should have thrown three coins. A three coins would have probably saved me, right? Stupid coin tosser. What'd you say? No matter how much you punish the bony body of the rifleman, he gives no reaction. He must be dead. By the way, did he give me a gun? He did not give me a gun. You bastard. The soldier looks physically healthy, but his skin is very dry. Unnaturally so. Parts of the parts of it are almost glossy because of the hardened flakes on his face. His eyes are also dim. They almost look like the person would suffer from cataract. But it would make no sense to have someone like that in the army. So it could be something else entirely. The soldier is only protected against fire and slashing attacks, but that has more to do with his uniform rather than his physique. All right. Deep woods at night, here we go. Let's just hope we don't jump into a insta-death trap and we'll be good. Oh yeah, there's the lady that sings here at night. Yeah, hello lady. By the way, do I have, uh... yeah, I have white vials. Everybody has white vials. There is a death trap right in front of me. Gonna sidestep it. Get him! Get him! Don't let him shoot!
Let's try and uh, kill him. Before anything bad happens. How is he get, how is he not taking damage? Yeah, you can take that uh, to the bank. Ten money? What does a forest man need money for? You absolute silly head. There should be some ammo here. Never mind. Probably went through here once then. So again, according to the... Oh, that's a toad. So according to uh, the video uh, on how to, you know, recruit all... Oh! Where? Where is he? There is another one. You bastard. Cut the head of your enemies. Thank you for the tip. What a creepy melody. What are they attacking that they're doing zero damage? Are they trying to hit the owl? Not a smart move. Insta death. By the way, what the medical diagnosis? This thing looks human for the most part. The long net mask part, however, doesn't budge. It's stuck by some unnatural mean. The neck especially is puzzling me. I can't uh, quite explain what has caused the neck to mutate this long. The body is protected by a light chainmail, so slashing and piercing attacks have little effect. The cloth would catch fire easily, however, and the person seems to be valuable against... vulnerable against otherworldly powers. Okay. I'm gonna uh, disable the night filter for a moment. There we go. So, uh, my character is uh, not healthy. I will use a white vial to get rid of the poisoning. So, again, in the video from the channel No Commentary, when I looked at how to recruit all characters, he showed that there is a path right here. And then when he went in there, I saw something very special. I cannot believe I missed this, by the way, because I, I went past through here. Oh, red herbs! Yes! Let's go! That's like full two healings for me. Ooh! Okay, I didn't see that thing per se. What do I hit? Everybody is scared of this thing. Uh, can I run away from it? I probably shouldn't talk to it because it doesn't even have a mouth or ears. Trying to think here for a moment. I have an explosive. So the front ha hands look weak. So my my guess is that I ask all party members. I don't know, man. Because I shouldn't hit the. Wait a second. These heads look uh, familiar to the uh, the first game. The first game had these heads. They they shoot like poison if you explode them, don't they? I don't know, man. All right. Um each one attack a, a leg. I want to see what happens. I 
understandable. Have a good day. Okay, that's not really a thing I foreseen, but rather there was a, a, a blue moth. That was what made me want to go there. Welcome to Fear and Hunger, everybody. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get back there. Listen, if I knew he's gonna one-shot my whole party with a single move, I would've used explosives. I did... I... I think there was a way for me to win that battle, but... Clearly, I was unprepared. You guys can push me up the stairs, you know. Oh, there's a shotgun here. Thank you. He's always there. He's a unique enemy. I can probably avoid him, right? Bear traps are his weakness. Um, I couldn't really react in time to whatever was even going on. Oh gosh, do I have to go through the city again? Kinda don't want to. Oh man, that kinda sucks. I did not think I was gonna die. That's why I went there. Oh, that... That kinda sucks. Ah, I wish I knew Vinushka so I could just go there instantly and not... Not have to go all the way around. Is there a place I could get some books? Maybe I could stop at the book library. Get Vinushka that way. Wait, you're here? Aren't you like selling things? Nerd. <sighs> It says that he spawns once you move an exact number of tiles away from the entryway, so you might be able to bait him out and move one tile at a time. So I move one tile at a time, then as soon as I hear him, I move like out of the way. Bobby. Oh no, this is a, a deadlock. I'm gonna have to kill one of them, I think. Or not. Hold on. No, this is a deadlock. They're just gonna keep uh, running it down. Welcome to Fear and Hunger, everybody. Welcome to Fear and Hunger. Very much welcome. Oh, this sucks. Should I go through the sewers? Because the city is just too difficult. There's just too many things that can go wrong. I I can try through the sewers. Why not? There should be a manhole right at the entrance. Uh, I should probably take the shotgun before leaving though. Too good to pass. Should loot as well. Oh man, that really put a dent in my plans. I don't know what the heck that was, but that's not what I planned. It just takes forever to get back there though. Ah. Stupid chair.
Don't shoot. This way. I want to try and go through the sewers. I think it, it'll be safer. No, oh, no, there is a death mask around. Hopefully he won't wake up or something. <gasps> or I can use the, the church elevator to get where exactly. Oh, oh. Next to the church, there is a manhole somewhere. Probably not a bad idea. And also, there is a bunch of uh, sigils down here, which I could use, right? Might be a good idea to use them. So this is a new god. I don't know if fear and hunger counts as a new god. Should I try and fight this guy? I don't know, he seems dangerous. Oh no, I got stuck. Okay, I, I got past him. Oh well, I guess we'll keep uh, at it at our original plan. Almer's works there. Is Almer count as an old god? Because it was a sigil of not old gods. God damn it, Bobbies! So somewhere in here. Hold on. Oh, there's a Bobby right behind me. So in here somewhere. Behind this Bobby! There is a manhole. That's the manhole I wanted. What? Climb down. So this would uh, be a safer route around the city, I think. I just want to see the third machine. Um, is there a way to go left? I need to go left. Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> Wait. Well, that's not good. By the way, is anybody hungry? Yeah. I thought this is going to be smooth sailing. This is not smooth sailing at all. I think I see a way. Oh no, there is no way there. I think we have to go through here then. Hello, Canelio. <laughs> Glad you have a manhole. All right. There should be a way... Hopefully you don't have to tinker with these. We'll come back here and activate the other machine once we know... Uh, once we activated the mysterious machine. Somewhere else in the deep woods. Wait, four golden ratio ascended ones. So, Almer is an ascended one? Is this left enough? Or do we need to go even more left? There is this... Blob again. Oh, Rat Lady! 
supplies. So this is where? Back alleys. No. I want even more left. This is so much more... So much more safer than the village. It's ridiculous how safe it is down here. It's just ridiculous. Why is it so safe? Where does this go? Shopping district. I'm not sure about this. We can go further left. Wait, a smell that is a mix of dirt and blood? Have I been here before? Blood? That's not good. I'm gonna feed Corrine so she's not weak during battle. Wait, there's some sort of effigy here? Wait. What's this? It's like meat on the ground. Is that like a dead rat? Yo, what the heck is going on here? Are these like what? Rejected? So this loops around, I see. I had a something in my uh, entirely different in mind for this, uh, you know, stream. But I guess we're gonna explore other routes. I'm not really scared of these guys. I can kill them easily. I think. Uh oh. There is a lot of them, though. That's for sure. There is a great very many of them, and I ankle broke all of them at the same time. Thank you for pushing me up the stairs, guys. I used a simple lock. I got some gas. No chance I'll find some books here, right? Uh, just imagine, if we had just one book, we would have been fine. I wouldn't have to go through all these dangerous places. Wasn't that Levy? Just now? I'm gonna have to initiate a battle with him. Not on chair, because if I use the chair, I fall. This is not good. Are you okay, sir? The weeping scope. Oh well. Um, I guess I could... Uh... Equip my chair. I don't know if this will kill him. Watch out! <laughs> I love how Karine with her hands in the pocket just dodges it easily. Hopefully this is enough to kill him. That was not enough. H 
How did I kill him two turns last time? I got the solidarity soul. Um, can I take his head? The creature doesn't have a distinct head, so you cannot really saw anything. Saw the whole thing. Saw the sniper rifle. He dead. Well, that's an odd place to find Levy. Um, this is no good. Do I even have healing to sub substitute for all that lost health? Well, yeah. You know what? We're going to the deep woods, so I will find more red herbs. So we'll be fine on healing. I, should I go through here or through there? I just do not want to trigger these guys. These meat grinder guys. Okay, we did it. By the way, there is another manhole right here. Or does this connect? Oh, this doesn't connect to anything. That's why it's so far off. Okay. That makes sense. I thought that I could get here. But I cannot. Okay. Round two. I should probably give uh, something to drink. Not vodka. Beer more like it. And also something to eat. Uh, Nit, thank you so much for the five dollars on Super Chat. Appreciate it, guys. You guys are very generous today. Appreciate that a lot. Oh, this guy is ready. Okay, uh, get to him. Get to him. Get to him. Can everybody just attack his body and kill him? There you go. Not even a chance. Um, I could kill the guy with a gun and get some ammo, but probably shouldn't. <gasps> I got a purifying talisman! Hold on! I'm thinking of going back to the orphanage and uh, opening the door. Okay, you know what guys? Maybe... Maybe we just go and do a little detour to the orphanage. You guys mind? So the orphanage was, was what? Past the shopping district, right? I want to go there. I want to see what's behind that door. How close are we to the orphanage anyway? I don't think it's that far off. We should have easy access or a safe access to the shopping district, I believe. I'm gonna look at the map in just a moment. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit and then uh, when it's relevant, I'll pull it up. I've just, uh, ever since I died before opening that door, I was curious what's behind the door that it's locked with magic. Wait, uh, is it up here? Hold on a moment. Preview West. Uh, books, map.
Um, okay, I'm just gonna go towards the shopping district. If for whatever re reason I get attacked by meat grinder guys, I can just go back to the sewers and find a safer way. Okay. There is a trigger here for meat grinder guys. I think I just missed it by a single tile. It's why you saw me pause for a moment and freak out. Because I remember this area specifically. So to get there, I think we need to somehow go up. <gasps> no! Go! Hell, man, these meat grinder guys are so freaking annoying. Well, there goes the door. Very fun. <sighs> I don't understand. Should I like restart a new game or something? Because I just. I have four party members, but it still feels like overwhelmingly difficult. Like, just one wrong step, boom, you're done, you're dead, whole party dead. Should I just fight the meat grinders? I mean, they do a bajillion damage, but... Do I have any other choice? Because they always ruin my runs. Every single run almost has been ruined by these guys. Because they're just so many, so fast, and so much damage. I thought I was off the stairs. Guess not. Okay, got past him. Good. I think it's better you use the escape skill with your main character since it doesn't make you lose your entire turn. I didn't know you could do that. Save a whole turn. Well, now I don't have a talisman, so there's no reason to go to the orphanage. Oh, man. If I get another talisman, uh, I'll try again. But god damn it. I just want to see what's behind that door. Maybe it's hard because uh, there's like no safe spots around here. Like, easy spots to save. They're coming. So, I think fighting these guys, we need to kill Meat Grinder guy first because he cuts limbs and does like three attacks at the same turn. And then after that, we kill the, the, you know, the Smasher. And last, we'll kill the Rifleman. I think the Rifleman does the least amount of damage. Nah, there's no way. And I lost a hand, which means permanently slowed. Yeah, there's no way. I, I can't just focus fire one of them. And for whatever reason, the game doesn't let you like target his limbs. So you cannot like get rid of the danger. I cannot just dismember them. I don't understand. It's like the game mechanics don't work there, for whatever reason. Why? Like, what's different about that? 
why can't they just cut off their dangerous parts and, and then like kill them one by one? Ah, this is uh, irritating. Like it feels like the game has to find a loop around to make this difficult. Because uh, I have four party members, but it doesn't matter. Because uh, the game disabled targeting limbs, which is the whole point of the game. Like, what the heck? I don't know, man. We got very unlucky. I've been playing for one hour and I'm still at the same spot. That's irritating as heck. Why did this guy notice me all of a sudden? Hello? I went past you last time and you were not... You didn't care. I guess I could use the church uh, again. Maybe I should just save in the church to save some time. But I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't save like a, a free save slot, you know? Oh, wait, no. I don't think it's an older god. Would the god of fear and hunger work on that? Maybe fear and hunger isn't an old god. Because I don't know Almer. Will this work? Oh, you yeah, did. Pray and save. Statue cracked. I saved on a different save file, so... You know, in case uh, somehow this was not a good decision, then... I could just, like, redo it. Now at least I saved inside the city, so... You know, it's not... Getting around isn't as harsh. Because every time I die, it's like half an hour progress. It's irritating. Because I died, like, uh, twice or three times, and I've been playing for an hour. So it just doesn't make sense. Or maybe not an hour, 50 minutes. Um, I need to go down there, I think. Thank God I saved. Is there an easy way to get rid of him without dying? Because every time I fight him, I, I get a lot, a lot of damage. Okay, he missed. So that's my chance of not dying. I don't know if his head stopped moving. His head is still moving. I'm not gonna ask Karine to attack, I don't think. I'm gonna ask her to go here. For whatever reason, Marina attacks first, so... Oh no, he... He always get to attack uh, before my characters. I don't understand how it works. Wow, you're just one guy! Die already! Even with four party members, this game feels mega hard. Oh, I didn't beat him! Oh my god. I forgot. He instantly got up. Cutting off the legs doesn't do anything for this guy. Okay, I managed to escape. I got scot free. Do you have wrenches? Um, I don't think I do. I think, uh, yeah, I, d I do not have wrenches. So, like, what? Should I always use the sewers to get around? It's just... 
I don't know, man. It's just the meat grinders guys are so strong. There is nothing you can do about that. Once you trigger them once, that's it. That area, you can forget about going through that area. Which is, again, irritating. This whole game is about exploration. And it just makes this exploration harder. I'm gonna ignore Levy when I see him. I don't wanna take a bunch of damage and die. Oh, she's perfectly blocking the way. That's nice. I think this should be enough to cut off her leg. If I remember correctly, I need to go through here. Uh, do I have to go through any dangerous area? Oh, this is not what I thought. If I had a talisman, this would have been fine, but I don't have a talisman. You can chain stun with a Bella toss. I don't have her in my party, but it's good to know. Rant ladies kind of cringe. I don't know, I think she's red because she's easy to kill. Anybody who is uh, hard to kill, I angry with them. I'm gonna loot everything here. So, fear and hunger. Oh, that was Levy. It's okay, I'll, I'll ignore him. I'm sure he'll sort his issues out on his own. Where are we? Oh, here. Should probably loot over there. Should probably loot a lot. Might come across another uh, talisman, which would be very valuable. If I came across another talisman, I'd be happy. And I'll make sure to get there safely without triggering anything. Oh gosh, there's a guy with a gun there. He's kind of looking at me. I'll go through there because that guy gets a first turn shot. He has like a fast stance. And dead. This is the third time I'm I'm in this path. <sighs> Blue herb shilling. Come on, talisman. Come on.
Well, I guess uh, we'll come across a talisman eventually. I got an iron spear. I don't think, I think only Dan can wield it. Another empty chest, would you believe it? Out of the way door. Seems like the door opens from this side. Would you believe it? Well, I doubt we'll find a talisman in the woods, but never doubt. Maybe we will. See, I don't know what the, what's the deal with the singing lady. She just sings. Like, what the heck? Uh, oh yeah, there is a one-hit trap here. Get him! <laughs> Say hello to my owl friend. Cloth fragments, that's huge! Not mad, not mad anymore. I'm happy because I feel like we're making progress. Uh, that tent has nothing. Because I've looted it. There should be a guy around here. Down, down, below, below, below. I wonder, did I went past a trap? That could have been mega dangerous. Zero damage. You're dead. It would have been funny if we you could uh, see them fall into their own traps. Now, if I remember correctly. Which seems like I'm not. There should... Oh, there it is. There it is. There's the path. Now, I should be very wary of the horse that looms around the forest. I should probably drink something before we move on. Some beer. I do think there is a way to defeat it. It's a slim chance, but I think there is a way for me to defeat it. There is a blue moth there. You saw him, right? The thing is, I have a full party. So even if I do try and get out of the way, I think I'll still end up fa fighting. See, I still end up fighting. So somebody said use the run skill. That way I can still use my other party members. And I'm gonna ask everybody to guard. He's blocking the path though, so... What? They were guarding! God damn it, man! Why does he do, do a bajillion damage? They were guarding! There's no other way around.
Could you shoot him from there? I don't think I have a gun. <sighs> but you did give me an idea. I'm gonna get a gun and I'm gonna lure him there. Because there is no way I can get out of the way with a full party. Hold on. I actually need uh, a previous save file. The horse reminds me of the marriage of... Uh, marriage from the first game. Doesn't it? I hope not. I hope nobody tried any uh, rituals. But how many shots would it take to kill a horse? Like five, ten? Like how many are we talking? So what weapon did I find first of all? A rifle. Okay, so 303. I did get 303 ammo, but it looked like a shotgun for a moment. Now... 303. I have five shots. I, w I need a shotgun. I totally need a shotgun. How do we get a shotgun? A shotgun would blast them off. Gotta go, guys. Good luck, Risk Boy. Thank you, Kunaldeo. Like, how would I come across a shotgun? Do I just, like, loot around the houses? Four to seven shots, depending on skill damage with gun. Well, I'm playing with the... Uh, <laughs> with uh, the wheelchair lady. If I can find more ammo, I'll be fine. I can kill some guys on, on the way. Actually, there is a guy on the way that I could kill right now. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Get up. I'm gonna take the, sa the safer route and I'm gonna take seven bullets. Come here. Uh, hit him, hit him before he shoots. I do not want to take free damage. Hopefully he didn't equip the rifle by accident. Okay, good. So these guys give one shot per enemy. Oh, hello. Who is this? Cut off his limb. Cut off his hand. I, I sent two people to cut off his hand just to be sure. Damn, these guys are really weak. But that's because this is kind of the beginning. I wish the mid grinder guys were this weak. Did I get a bullet? I, I didn't... Uh, I looted without noticing. I did not get the ammo. Huh? So only certain enemies have ammo? I killed the first guy and he had ammo. Or does the game just keep changing the rules just to make it hard for no reason? Oh no... Oh, he's also weak. For whatever reason, I remember him being stronger. It's just I've been dying so much, I think I'm so much weaker than I am, you know? I could probably take their heads, but I did not think about it. Nor do I know where to use the heads, even, even if I uh, get them. Well, what else?
You could probably get past the horse with one party member, but having four party members increases my hitbox for a battle initiation. Or at least that's what it seems. Sometimes uh, I'm so far away from a Bobby, and he still initiates a fight with me. So I think that's what what's going on. Um, well, I cannot use any other sigil right here, so... I don't know, man. What's the plan now? I'm gonna try and kill the horse. We're gonna shoot him five times. And then... Oh, uh, we're gonna shoot him six times. I'm gonna have six bullets. Not uh, Currently I have five, but I believe I know how to get more bullets. Or at least one more. Um, we're gonna shoot him six times, which is a lot of damage. And then hopefully I'll, k I'll kill him. If I do not die around here. Go down. Left. Stupid. Okay, I thought there might be something here. How hungry are we talking? Hmm. Ah, not so hungry. But man, this game is... Uh, like, I've been playing for an hour and... 20 minutes. Still trying to do something kind of big. Okay, I cannot... I have to fight him. He gets one free hit anyway, right? So... Go ahead, do your damage. Oh wait, he doesn't attack. Wait, why doesn't he attack first now? I guess it's random who gets to attack? Must be random. Fool! Kick him! Is there a dead crow there? A dead crow. The carcass is pro. Parley decomposed. I got I got the crow. <laughs> um, uh, not sure why. Will Will this help me? Spawn the horse in the bottom path. Uh, again, you're forgetting that I have a full party. He's gonna. By the time I get out of the way, I think he's gonna touch one of my party members. I think it's better if we... I think it might be safer if we try and kill the horse. Can, can the horse move, ho like, vertically? Because I might be able to get past him if he cannot move vertically, but... You can sacrifice the crow, but something difficult might happen. My nemesis. You better run away, idiot. I know my way around the sewers. Wait. Isn't there a levy around here that I could kill? Oh, he's on the other side. Well, you can stay there. Another empty chest. Would you believe it? Yeah, I'm, uh, no way to reach him. I could kill him and take his gun, but I guess not. A doppelganger. I'm pretty sure he does, but uh, I just don't want to waste any more time. 
going around. Hello, gentlemen. Welcome to Game Theory. And today, Theory, why you always lose coin tosses? You're tossing the coin wrong. Well, I guess we're gonna have six bullets. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, enemy number one. Oh wait, uh, we're here. No, why did why did he trigger? I'm gonna ask three of them to attack that and... Okay, good. He's gonna lose balance. See, like, they're so weak to just that. So it's annoying that the meat grinder guys just... Don't work like that. Can you hit him already? I got a meat mullet. Is it any stronger than something I have? It's actually a lot stronger. And what if I do? Down, left, up, left. And you do not trigger the meat grinders. Ah, it's just you have to do so many things perfect. Because of the infrequent save areas. There he is, give me... Oh shit, he managed to shoot. God damn you. Wait, all my party members take damage when he shoots? Cool. Shot all four of us with a single shot. Why are they not giving me bullets now? Every single time I killed him, I got a bullet. Okay, so I don't think we're gonna try and shoot the horse down because we clearly do not have any more bullets to do this. We're gonna have to try something else. We're gonna have to try uh, what someone suggested. Go all the way to the bottom and then when you hear him, go all the way to the top and hope he leaves you alone. Oh man, it's like this game knows what I'm thinking. It's like it's picking up the microphone and it's doing everything in its power. Uh, who thought? Who would have thought that one death would cost me like an hour of gameplay? That's uh, not what I thought. Another empty chest. You can get more ammo from Preville shop. Uh, I mean, we're quite ways away. Are you talking about the the one in the? Uh, business district or the one at the beginning at the entrance at the entrance it's doable but shopping district just might be too dangerous because I might trigger a meat grinder somewhere I just want to go there and explore like what if I get there finally and then die instantly it's like so many things you have to do perfect Oh, uh, I might have to um, sit down because I, I don't see very well any traps. I can t I, I know for a fact there is a trap right there. Because we've done this, uh, sadly, we've done this a lot of times. Ay, ay, ay. Punch him. Oh, that was uh, a lot. Well, he has a lot of health. He has a lot of body health. I'm glad I'm able to hit his head. Uh, 
Oh man. By the way, do I have a talisman? If I have a talisman, we'll go uh, back later. Don't think I have a talisman. Have a pressure plate though. That's gonna help. I'm afraid to throw down a bear trap because I know enemies are aware. He might avoid it. Get him! Uh, legs. Uh, well, it doesn't matter where you guys hit. his head there is a trap in the leaves don't worry if I see leaves I'll I'll make sure to pay attention like after dying a second time I kind of figured just uh, take it slow Okay, what do we do? Do we kill the horse or do we try and avoid the horse? Again, does he only move horizontally? Because if so, we can totally just uh, avoid the horse. By the way, all my characters took damage. I don't know if I should heal anybody. Well, assuming we're not gonna fight... Okay, so the moment I get a chance to go down, I go down, I hear him, I start running up the, the other way. I say kill the horse because you're going to have to dodge him back when you come back. Oh, I see. Okay. So in order to shoot the horse... Oh no! God damn it! Why is he so quick? Okay, come. Come. No! What? Nobody was there! Dude! Okay, the game's super locked out. Super duper luck. I was able to get away twice. He's like initiating a fight with 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 Marina all the way at the back. That's annoying. Okay. So sadly, the game decided not to give me any bullets at all. Even though every time I killed one of these riflemen, they gave me a bullet, but this time, nah, -uh, not a single one. It's like they knew this is what I wanted. You gasp as you take the rifle in your arms. The fire feels heavy and sturdy. Slowly gaze down the barrel. Body is tingling with adrenaline from the... Just holding the gun. You've never used one before, but oddly feels just right. Like you always wanted to wield one. You shot a leg of the centaur. Is it damaged? How strong is this guy? This is ridiculous. We might be just like one shot away, which is what the game decided not to give me. <laughs> oh man. Okay, before we try anything, let's try... Let's wait for her hunger to pass. Maybe you can start a fight, it has less HP. I think he's he might be like, uh, his limbs might be badly injured. 
I don't know. When the enemy shot, shot me, all my party members got injured. So I assume if I hit, hit an enemy, it would be a similar case, right? All the body parts, members of his party would be injured as well. Don't forget to re-equip, yeah. Good idea. It's just I know he's gonna one-shot me. Oh, I do not want to use healing on everybody, but I think I'm going to have to use healing on everybody here. Oh no, we're going to fight this. Oh no. Like, there might be even something stronger beyond him, so I, 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 I just don't want to fight him. Uh, let's feed our characters. You know, if they're gonna die, they're gonna die with belly foot full. Though they're not gonna die. We're gonna win this. Alright. Do your worst. See, like, why why doesn't he initiate a fight now? This is how he started a fight with Marina. It's like, I don't know. All his limbs are intact. I did not do any damage at all anyway, it seems like. This battle is completely over. The game just did not work today, did it? I think our only shot then it might be the, tor the torso, because I think that's where the damage went. Even though when I shot him, it said you shot him in the leg. His leg is, st is still intact though. How many times did I shoot the leg? Even if I hit the head, he has two heads. I don't think it's uh, enough to just uh, shoot one. We have two turns to kill him, so... The heads are only things to go for. Listen, I, I cannot with a full party hit a single head. And he has two heads! I shot him five times. He should be damaged. The body has too much H HP, I think. But that's what we shot five times. Like... Because imagine I didn't shoot him five times. It'd still be the same... You know, just initiating a fight and trying to hit the heads. It would be still the same outcome. What about the murky vials? I'm thinking about the explosive vials, not the murky ones. The murky does not do enough damage. They do like 65. If I... I'm gonna ask her to attack normally and I'm ask, gonna ask everybody else to use uh, an explosive... He's not gonna die, is he? You missed! You fucking missed! I don't know, man. Am I supposed to just do this with one party member? Because I, I cannot get past him. There is a cache of guns in the preval bar. If I can get a shotgun... I have nine shots at the horse, and if he doesn't die after... Oh, I'm instantly blind. Uh, I shouldn't fight him. Okay. He can w first turn blind you, and the only way back is, uh, well... Calling the god of, uh... Health. God of love, that is. So it would be behind the stage, right? That's where I would hide guns. Or not? corner of the bar. I heard something.
Is it just squeaky or what? <laughs> we have to reset the game. She's gone. Oh, wait. Is she down there? Hold on. I'm taking these guys with me. If she's gone, I'm restart restarting the game. Yeah, yeah. Get a shot of, gla uh, of milk. You can drink vodka from the trash. If that's what you want. Tag along. No, 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 I don't want to drink. Come. Okay, she's over there. So this is probably where the... The guy's, uh... Like the... The group with the sister. Got Luger. Coded letter. Wait, there is no shotgun here? Rifle. Shotgun. I need a shotgun. There you go. And I can save the game here. Hello. I didn't know there was a sigil in here. Look like some kind of operation plan to take place around Preville area. There are four locations that seems especially important. Wait, four machines? Okay, so we're not beating the game today. <laughs> I'm having trouble just activating one machine. You want me to activate four? So... Wait, four locations. Next to the train station. That must be underground then. Um, the first X by the old town we got. Wait a second. National Museum. We got the one by the train station. That That is the sewers. So there's four machines. Are you kidding me? No, 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 don't sleep, don't sleep! There was a save. To the left. Oh man, I, w I just wanted to explore and see what's there. Oh man, even when you win, you lose in this game. Even when you win, you lose. Well, great. This is not my day at all. Now there is no point in using the sigil, because I just saved. What's wrong with sleeping? Because I can not progress time and save over here by the sigil. But now I progress time. Please, just climb out. Um... The game got much easier because of there is a save location there. I didn't know there is a save location there. Um, I got the ammo in the trash. Great. Now that I that I don't really need it, they give it to me. Isn't that funny how this game works? Isn't it just that hilarious? I should probably use the sewers. I shouldn't. I should not. I just shouldn't try and uh, do it normally. I'll go through the shopping district because uh, I think it, it might be faster. But I shouldn't just uh, fight the meat grinder guys. Now we're definitely going to try and kill the horse with nine shells. And then I have also a rifle. So I can 
interact. Okay. So I can definitely kill him. If he if if you can kill him, that is. If if he is killable, we're gonna find out. Man, every chest I came today is empty. Isn't that a coincidence? Isn't that, that just a coincidence? Every single chest that I came across this playthrough, the past two hours, was empty. This is starting to feel more like Fear and Hunger 1, where I just feel like every time there is a coin toss of some kind, whether seen or unseen, then I lose it instantly. Except the one with the horse, where I was able to run away twice. That one worked well. Wait, so this leads back to the shopping district? I hope not. No, 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 okay. There's exclusive enemies to masochist mode. Not sure if we'll you see that. Because I don't think I'm ready for masochist mode. I just want to kill the horse. I heard the... Like a... Oh shit, they're walking here. I heard a bell, so I was expecting to see a bell guy. Oh, what? This game annoys me. Why are they triggered now? Yeah, fuck that. Fuck all of this. Fuck everything. He gets first turn. My character is hungry, so I'm gonna lose the fight with that guy. Not this guy in particular. Is there a coin co toss that I'm not gonna lose today? I cannot toss three coins, it's just not possible for me. Can I use an item and feed my character in battle? There is no way to start a battle without him being hungry, huh? I'm, I'm done for. Well, good thing I saved. Good thing there was plenty of safe files over there, actually. Um, cut off his arm. I, I, I didn't even get a chance to open the menu. Beekeeper. He, he's a very, like, a big, muscular man. What, what do I do about this? I cannot run. Double slap, half the health. You know, you know, the usual. If I cut the nests, oh, that would stop the the that would stab the bees, but that would not kill him. I do not want to fight this. And he gets to shoot me before I even move. That's just fun. Yep, he's coming. <sighs> Still have my guns.
Did they switch places? Yeah, they did. Um, should probably heal. And uh, more healing. Watch out for the insta death trap. This one I actually don't mind because they're so dodgeable. But the other ones, not so much. Get this guy. I'm gonna ask him to hit the legs again. I'm just afraid that one of them misses. Hey, why did you not attack the legs just now? Whoopsie. Yeah, yeah. Cloth fragments, give it to me. Out of the way, Toad. Get him! One leg. Cultists. Okay, he's dead. I heard a different sound now, and I'm not sure if I should expect the unexpected. Found two blue herbs on the way. Good. That's nice. I just wanted to explore. I thought this is gonna be so easy because I knew uh, as soon as I started to stream where. Wait, there is a path up here! Oh, I'm not exploring that one. I'm, I'm kind of scared. I didn't know there was a path up there. I was I would have explored it otherwise. But now we're here for business. Thirteen shells. Go 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 go! I thought he's gonna initiate a fight with me. The center tanks your shots. Tank this! Oh, he actually died. I... I... He has nothing of value? Beating a dead horse. Beat her. Oh, it's a her. It's a she. I'm no veterinarian, but let's give this a look. The skin of the beast looks like a mix of burns and boil damage. Some of the injuries seems to originate from inside the creature. Can't avoid the elephant in the room either. There's clearly a human body thrown into the mix. I don't even want to guess how that happened. There's a human body in there? The body looks vulnerable to piercing and slashing attacks especially. Well... Might be weak, but... But he's tanky. Okay, I can put down the gun for now. Man, these guns are really useful. Should probably... Use guns more often. Also, there is a path up there, which I wanted to check out. Hopefully I'm not gonna insta-die right now. If I hear another horse, I'm like, Alt F4. What's up with this ground? There's the blue moth. That, that's the thing I've seen from the video. That's what I wanted to explore. The bunker muffles all the outside sound. 
neutral smell from the barrel. Random notes on the spreadsheet. Doesn't look important to you at this very moment. We might not reach the paradise today, not in 10 years, maybe not even in our lifetime. But know that we are laying down the foundation, the roots that will grow and bring the mankind to the promised land. Take great pride in knowing this. I am pride. So that was my sister? I don't know, should I like follow- Wait, this place seems kind of familiar. Is there an elephant man around here? He also did say elephant in the room. Is that a foreshadowing? Guess guys, what's gonna jump on me this time? Is it gonna be another horse? Oh wait, this is... By the way, I lost almost every single coin toss today. Like I had two times that I used a lucky coin and I lost both of them. Like what's the chances of that, right? Because a coin toss is a 50-50 and then you toss another coin with the coin. What's that? I got an R. Wait, this guy is severed. How did this happen? Someone has been sewing together different body parts. The sue job seems to be a work in progress still. So maybe whoever sue him? There's like a boss that, you know, sues people. And just imagine as a boss, it's gonna be Phoenix, right? By the way, is anybody hungry before we fight here? Listen guys, I'm I'm not uh <laughs> not risking it today. By the way, this is pushable. What's up with this? There are like ventilations on the ground. Should I block them? I don't know, like is this place gonna fill with gas? The elephant was in the bunker in the west. Yeah, I know. It's just that I don't trust this game to give me a safe area to traverse. By the way, there is an elevator here. Doesn't appear to have electricity. Oh, so we have to turn on electricity and we'll get access to the machine. I'm such a badass with a gun in my hand. Am I gonna fight a door? Alright, so I'm gonna switch out the gun. I'm glad you guys managed to open it. I would have been very sad otherwise. Ah, uh, this feels so good right now. Ah, uh, I'm exploring something I haven't seen. I think I'm gonna faint. It feels so good. Like, what's gonna kill me? You know what? There is nothing over there. I've decided. I'm gonna... Switch again to the rifle. I don't know, he seems like kind of a weak enemy. Should I be worried about that? By the way, I got a necklace devour thing. Yo, 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 yo! He coming right for me! Stitches? I kind of want to get a look at him. You know, for a thumbnail. Oh no, I'm so greedy. I'm gonna die because I'm greedy. Come out. Oh, he's locked in there. 
Well, that's a surprise. Keep shooting him. If we kill him, we won't be able to see how his battle sprite looks. Stitches now? He looked like Jesus. I don't know why. He looked like he's a Jesus clone. Hey. Answer to me when I shoot you. <laughs> Stitches is trying to gesture something, but you make no sense of her. Is that red on her hand? Please don't tell me she knows hurting. Alright, you two. Get these. You get... Oh, she's strong. She's healing. Living flesh slowly drags itself to join the battle. turn? What do you mean extra turn? I gotta get rid of her uh, healing whispers. More enemies are gonna join and she's gonna heal them, right? At least we got to see her. Yeah, before we die. I didn't think she's gonna have enemies join mid-battle. I thought I have this. Okay. Is Dan tied forever? Forever and ever? I think we all just uh, smash this... Uh flesh so he doesn't like deal massive damage to me cross stitches Dan come on man he's not dying Am I doing a mistake by attacking the, the meat? I want to kill him so we can just have an easy fight here. Wait, Dan gets an extra turn too? Why? Why are you getting an extra turn? Wait, no, I shouldn't have revved up. He's gonna die next turn. Oh, actually, no, 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 it's fine. It's an extra turn. They can't just attack him. Okay, I see, I made, I clearly made a mistake attacking this guy. Listen, I didn't know her partner is gonna have infinitely, infinite health. My bad. My bad, again, my bad. I didn't think it's just gonna have infinite health. I should have clearly shot her. Usually, when whenever an enemy joins a battle, they're usually weaker. But not this time. This time, he's actually stronger than the one who called him. Oh, fuck me, man. Okay, so this is what how it's gonna go down. I'm gonna 
use Silva to heal Mirana so I can use her uh, rev up and then I'm gonna ask Dan to heal himself so Karin can rev up and I don't know she goes for this leg or goes for the other leg or this arm I should have asked both of them to attack the arm now that I think about it. Wait, she didn't even attack this time. Why? She's dazed. Okay. By the way, I'm probably out of ammo. Right? She gets an extra turn, but you can't really do much with it. Why am I getting extra turns? Is it because she feel good about the gun? Okay, but why is Dan getting an extra turn? Silva is out of ammo, so she continues unarmed. Oh wait, he's still here! Okay, but why is Silva not getting a turn? Hello. Hello, Wh what happened to my turn with her? Like, the game just gives me extra turns and takes away turns, like... Hello? Okay, I guess we're not gonna play out my turn. Okay, so now item, equip, X. Wait, why is she not getting a turn again? What's going on here? Is this, is the game bugged? I, I can't, my silver turn is just not working. Must be a bug. Can this pile of flesh die? Well, listen, I got a thumbnail out of that. I'm happy. Okay? I always like putting new enemies in the thumbnail. I'm very much happy here. I'm very, very happy. Diagnose it. Right away. It's dead. Each kick sinks deep in as the living flesh is just a sack of fat and muscles. The thing looks to be a lumpy mass of fat and muscles. It is barely able to function. Examining the stitches, uh, stitching marks, it looks like the entity consists of multiple different humans that were soon together. Could it be an artificial life of some kind? Because the creature is butt naked, it is vulnerable to all kinds of attacks. Oh, it didn't feel vulnerable to me. Okay. You know I have to check this out, even if I die. You know. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, they're not initiating a fight? What? I guess he decided to leave the party. He just left them. Ammo! Rifle ammo! And more gasoline! Okay, I assume this p area is now fully safe, right? You forgot to check her body. How do I check her body? They're both dead in the same location, aren't they? No. Okay. No reaction, but each kick gives you satisfaction. The person looks to have a rather normal female body. A little bit more muscular than usual, perhaps, but nothing out of the ordinary. She has soon her mouth partly shut, and there appears to be more soon cuts 
scattered around her body. Their purpose is unknown to be, but they do this. Hello? Distort her face beyond recognition. Dan looks shaken up. His eyes are wide. Uh, what's wrong? Let's just go. I really need fresh air. Dan, are you okay? Are you alright? Like, what's up with this interaction? He's, a, he's the oldest one out of everybody here, and he's shaken up. Something must be really wrong then. He's like a doctor. Maybe he knows her. Is that a character able to equip the plank shield? Where would it even be? Would it be an accessory? It would. More defense. We want more defense. Uh, oh, it's you and your sister. I'm not going to take it off. My sister gave it to me. Uh, there we go. Then it's viewed where it's small. Boosting agility to help evade possible dangers. You know what? I'm gonna give her the this. Reduce otherworldly power damage. Sure. You know what? We need a beer after this. Here you go. Man, this was super awesome. You know, it was worth the two hours uh, we tried to reach here. Exploring in this game feels so good. Oh yeah, good. A quick way back to look at them. That's what I needed. Now, to restore the power... I have a lot of gasoline, so I should probably be able to restore the generator right away. But there are four machines. Let's go use that elevator. By the way, is there another roaming sack of meat? I wonder. Because I remember seeing one. Is it the same one and he just caught up to me? Because I... Like, is there like a strategy to kill one at a time or... You know, I'm curious. I'm curious to know. Scrap metal. All enemies are gone. Then that was the other... Uh, Crawly guy. I should have killed him beforehand then. Um, elevator. Hello. By the way, is there a... Yeah, there's the door right here. I guess I'm just gonna use the elevator. And Dan, don't do any shenanigans, okay? I don't know what's wrong with Dan. But he better not be doing any shenanigans.